Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you like, please subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends. Okay, so today's topic is what is the difference between functional requirement specification and non-functional requirement specification. Students are aware about, most of the students are aware about this difference between uh, functional requirement and non-functional requirement. What is the functional requirement? I will tell you why functional requirement is requ needed, the requirement, why it is needed. All the big projects starting from are starting from gathering the requirements or collect collecting all requirements to develop the software applications. Okay, so now I will explain you about what is the difference between functional requirement and what is non-functional requirement. Okay, so what is functional requirement? There are this RS means what requirement specification. It may be a CRS or SRS means what customer requirement specification or software requirement specification they are different I will tell you further what is FRS means what functional requirement specification and non FRS means what non functional requirement specification so what is functional requirement specification you observe in day to day life you use so many applications like standalone applications or uh, web applications okay or client uh, server applications now in that in that application when you're entering any data when you're entering any data into the component means what when you you are when you're entering something or characters like you are uh, you are entering the characters in the username and password and then you are clicking on the login button okay whenever there is a component you can call it an functional requirement specification that is a functional requirement means on suppose username uh, username of that application wants 6 to 32 characters it should not accept special characters okay so these are the functional requirement what that component needs for that sub of application or what are the features are available then so in basic all the features are called as an functional requirement and any input or any data flow as as i mentioned component data flow system and input for a component username password okay in that you are entering the data data flow means what you are you are uh, you are transferring the data from one module to the another module if you are, suppose you are sending hi from the whatsapp to the another account okay that is also a functional testing is it is that component of text is working or not okay uh, by entering uh, the data and after clicking on okay okay so this is the functionality testing. so you are going to write the whatever functional requirements needed to develop the software okay so then system system is or entire the system how you can click on the features and whatever it will do whatever software what is the user interface will be there that is a functional requirement what should we look okay now what is non-functional requirement specification okay in that it contains constraints external interference performance quality attributes okay now first i will go to the non functional requirement specification meaning non functional requirement specification meaning is what you are not clicking on any button okay you are not clicking on any button or you are not entering any data okay so you are not doing a functional okay so that is a non functional requirement so i will differentiate in between that okay so in constraints what are the uh, what you have to uh, what you have to require in constraints we are going to write the requirements about the design and implementations so what whatever what is needed in constraints design and implementation for how the design should be there so that in that you are not going to click on any uh, component here you are just you are going for the write the requirement about how the design should be there or on which page feature should be there that is a design document so it comes under constraints now implementation how you can implement the features okay that is the part of constraint now what are the external interference what are the external interference so in external interference so i think you know about the in external interface what require suppose in mobile hardware is there software is there user and communications okay in external interface means what non-functional requirement how user will uh, use that features okay or how the hardware should be there okay how the software should be there 
okay and how communication will be there between user and software that is that comes under non functional requirement now third point is a performance so you are going to check whether the response time of features are working or not whether the response time of features are working or not throughout the output or is going good or not latency is good or not and then next degraded modes okay so this comes under performance so this is a non functional requirement specification and guys last one is the quality attributes in quality attributes what you are going to uh, test in quality attributes you are going to write the requirements like user how the usability will be there how will how will be the robustness installability integrity availability manufacturability serviceability size weight how the size will be there how the installation process will be there okay these are the non functional requirements specification i hope you all of you are clear about what is functional and non functional functional means what entering the data or you are clicking on any features non functional means what Re apart from the clicking on any features your all the requirements are non functional requirements okay so come to the point functional testing and non functional testing so i will upload it into the next video i hope you guys enjoy this uh, video uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel uh, so that uh, all students can get help from my videos okay bless us